Good evening, Justice. So sorry that I've not made the video since. I just remember this from your test. Now, please, you, to approximate using the Honors method, assuming that you have a polynomial p of x equal to 2x to the power 4 minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 4. And you are asked to approximate this thing at s naught. that is initial approximation equal to minus 2. What do you do when you see this type of problem? Now, the first thing you do, let us go to the other side of the board. The first thing you do is to draw a Cartesian plane like this. Now, in this case now, you have your, your we are going to write out the coefficients, uh, coefficient of uh, s raised to power 4, the coefficient of s raised to power 3. See, it started with 4. You go down to 3. Coefficient of s raised to power 2. You write the coefficient of s raised to power 1. And that is x ordinary and s is power 0, which is the constant. So we, we have this test now. Now, what's the coefficient from here now? What is the coefficient of s is power 4, which is what? 2. And coefficient of s is power 3. There's no s is power 3. So the coefficient is 0. And coefficient of s is power 2 is minus 3. Coefficient of s is power 1 is what? 3. And coefficient of f s a plus zero, which is the constant, is what minus four. And you are told to approximate it at s raised to power, uh, s equal to s naught equal to minus two. How do you do it now? The first thing you do now in this area now, the first thing you do is to bring this thing down, bring this one down. Now this. Minus two times this is what? Minus four, you write it here. This plus this is minus four. Do you get it? Now, minus two times minus four, you write it here under this one. Now, this plus this, is positive five. Now, minus two times my, uh, five is minus 10. You write it under this. Now, this plus this is minus seven. Now, minus two times minus seven is positive 14. Now, minus four my, uh, plus 14 is positive or 10. So our answer to this now is what x. We now have that what the polynomial at p minus two is equal to ten. Do you understand? What you mean by this p minus two is that you replace x with minus two. We now have what um, minus ten. Let us see if we do it here. If we are going to get minus ten in this particular aspect. Now, in this case now, if you try to put minus 10, uh, minus two, this is two minus two raised to power four, minus three minus two raised to power two, plus three times minus two minus four. Two raised to power four is 16. 16 times two is what, 32. This two minus two squared is four. Four times this is what, 12. This is what? Minus what? Six and minus what? Four. So let us see, see this thing now. 32 minus 12 is what? 20. 20 minus six is 14. 14 minus four is equal to what? 10, which is what we have in this case. Do you understand now? So once you are told to use honors method, you use it directly, you're going to get the same thing. Now, let us take another example on this aspect again. Let us take another example on this aspect. Approximation or using honors method. Let us take a second example and see what will happen 
to our problem. Okay, I believe you have gotten this. Look at this again. Watch the video. As I said, you bring down the, first of all. These are the coefficients of the uh, of the variables. Then this bring down these two. This times this gives you this. This uh, you add. You have this. This times this one gives you this one. You add. You have this. This times this one gives you this one. You add. You have this. This times this one gives you this one. You add. You have the final answer. That is how you get it. Okay, let me take another example, which may be the last example on this aspect. Now, if you are giving a question like this now, using a, our Connors method P of X is equal to 2S cubed minus 3X or plus 3X squared minus 12X plus five. Now, look at this. Now, the same should approximate using Honors method. Maybe let's say at S not equal to minus three. Let us use this now and see what you are going to get using the same process. Okay. Let us wipe our board side. Now, you have one, the coefficient of S3, you know, after S3, you go down to S2, you go down to S, and you go down to what? S is 4 and 0. Now, this is, these are the coefficients. Now, you, the first thing you do is to write the coefficient of S3 is what? S is power 3 is what? 2. Look at this here. This question, this question, this question. 2, you have what? 3, you have minus 12, you have 5. Now, at S0 equal to minus 3. So, you bring down this one first. This times this is minus six. This plus this is what? Minus three. This one times this one is, my, uh, is positive nine. This plus this is minus three. This times this is what? Minus nine, uh, positive nine. Positive nine. This plus this is what? 14. So the answer, that is P at minus three is equal to what? 14. That is the answer. Do you understand it now? If you want to check again, I said, you bring down the first one. This times this one, you have this. You add these two, you get this. This times this one, you get this one. You add these two, you get this one. This times this one, you get this one. You add these two, you get this one. If you want to check your answer using your calculator, when you put it inside here, you have two times minus three, all cube, by Two minus three cube plus three of minus three squared minus twelve of minus three plus five. Let us see how this one goes. Now, this is twenty-seven minus twenty-seven times two minus fifty-four. This is nine. Nine times three plus twenty-seven. This is plus thirty-six plus what five. Now. This and this is what? 60 what? 3. 63 plus 5 is what? 68. 68 minus, minus 54 is equal to 14. You see it now. So this is just how to approximate using Honor's method. Thank you. If there is any question, do let me know. I will correct that. God bless you a lot.